What up, Libra gang? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, welcome. For those that are returning, thank you. Namaste, namaste. So I wanted to just begin by kind of just cleansing the space, protecting our energy. I'm going to light this dragon blood sage. It's like my new favorite sage currently. Um, it's very good for protective energy. It's very potent, very uh, strong. We can always use the best protective methods possible, right? So we'll just lightly cleanse or heavily cleanse. Look at that smoke that's coming out. We also have a rainbow fluorite here. It's like a combination of rainbow fluorite and green fluorite. So kind of like depending where you put it against the light, you'll see different colors. Um, I really like these new stones that I got for the channel because they're very raw um, stones, right? So they're like literally straight from the earth. They still have like that natural dirt so it's like very grounding as I hold this for you. Um, this also makes me think of your green chakra, okay? Your green chakra is like your heart chakra. Green stimulates the human growth in you, right? It is very rejuvenating. It cleans and purifies from germs and bacteria harmonizes the digestion, stomach, liver, and gall bladder, has a healing effect on the kidneys. So for those of you that may have uh, cirrhosis in your liver or maybe just a general problems within your liver, it has a very strong healing effect. And it also brings immunity to your psychological and emotional harmony, okay? I have this Budapest here, and I'm also going to light this Sacral Incense Chakra. Incense. We have this Budapest here. You know, just maintain your chakras. Keep them aligned uh, very much so. Enjoy uh, a good incense, especially during a reading. Let's go ahead and let's use the light seers and let's see what channeled messages we can get for you. This is gonna be for Friday, May 13th. <sighs> We're in the evil light protection ring. Um, funny how the focus is on the sacral and uh, heart green chakra, green and yellow chakra, right? The solar plexus chakra and the heart chakra, no coincidence there. Um, by the way, if you wanna know what the solar plexus chakra is for, it's uh, for the conditions of the stomach, the liver and the intestines, speeds up the digestion and assimilation. It helps to purify the skin and aids scarred tissue in healing itself. So those that like metaphorically may have scars from pain, heartbreaks, or just physical scars on your body, it's a very good healer in that sort. It activates and cheers up depressed and melancholic people. It gives lust for life, right? It ampl amplitudes that desire to heal. All right, Spirit, let's get the best and purest messages here for my Libra gang. Ooh. Oh, oh, interesting. Very interesting. My heart just sank a little. You're being very heavily watched right now, Libra. For a lot of you that maybe have taken a step back, um, it seems that you did it for good reason, right? You've been under attack here. 
by shadow demons, by a slight darkness, right? I feel like they've been tempting you, really trying to interfere within your energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn if you are in a relationship, but I'm strongly picking up as I feel this card, some type of like taunting, right? Like someone's taunting you, trying to provoke you. This could be like, just the energy you feel around you currently or it's almost like this shadow figure that's been following you around as of recently libra um let's pull more cards and let's clarify this because this is like a warning here a warning for sure For those of you that may have dealt with secrecy, obsessive, there's this obsessive person. Okay, it's making sense now. Someone's a very obsessed with you right now, Libra. I mean, I feel like they can be even like trying to track you down. I'm like looking out the window. <laughs> This could be, yes, an Aries, a Virgo, a Capricorn, perhaps. But you're the emperor, right? You know how to protect yourself, right? You're stable. And I think this is what they, Libra, are not used to seeing is your stability, right? You're very stable right now. You're very structured, right? You have this very protective energy that continues to circulate around you. So to see these two major arcana cards come out for you, right? Coincides with the chakras here. Just know that you're very protected, very protected Libra. Um, while this energy may surround you, right? and this is like a good word of advice here is, you know, we don't ever really get rid of our demons, but we just learn to live above them, right? We learn to, we learn from our experiences, our past mistakes, and we apply them to future situations, future circumstances. A lot of this has to do here with the six of wands. Um, there's this interplay between your success, you having the spotlight on you. Be careful here because I'm picking up almost like you starting to get a lot of public recognition and admiration is really having more people obsess and want to know more about you, right? like where you live, your secrets, you know, like it's very obsessive, very predator-like. It's a lot of fangirl, fanboy energy here for you, Libra. Um, it's obviously flattering in some ways, but it can also be scary in others. So please make sure to lock your doors. You know, if you have a security system, make sure you have it on. Um, like some of you may be even being watched by your own phones, like through hacking, if people are sending you like, you know, random links, like don't click on them, right? You're literally giving them access to your phone. Um, be very skeptical. I'm not saying be paranoid, but just be cautiously optimistic, right? Spirit, tell me more. Clarify the devil here for me, please. What's the devil here about? The Ten of Wands. Okay, yes. This has to do a lot with your past. So if any of you have had dreams, right? Because a lot of you have. If you've had dreams of like things from your past or you've had moments from your past kind of creep up on you, these are burdens. These are like deja vu moments that are trying to bring you down, Libra. They're trying to 
keep you from being the success story that you're meant to be, right? A lot of people really enjoyed seeing you struggle in life. And now that they're seeing you excel and have success, it's almost like they're regretful at themselves for detaching or losing you as a person. And now they're almost like doing whatever they can to try to bring you back down to that level of energy where they thought they had control over you. Spirit, clarify the emperor here for Zebra. Yeah. But see, the reason why you're so protected, Libra, is with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is you have generations of protection around you, right? Your legacy is your own protection. Your legacy is your ability to survive, to be resilient, right? to give rebirth to yourself over and over again. It doesn't matter how many times you have to do it, but you continue to do it, right? The 10 of cups here is your happiness. It's your ability to align yourself to your destiny, your new life, right? Because a lot of you are starting pretty much fresh, right? This new journey you've started has opened doors that you never thought would have been able to open for you in the past. Continue to live in this strength of the emperor, right? Because it is inspirational and it's motivating others. Don't lower yourself to the level of your past or those people that are just looking out for their best interest, right? They're not looking for your best interest. But here to clarify the six of wands, we have the four of pentacles. So to continue, like I said, continue to protect yourself, your energy, your assets, your future. Your future is super important right now, Libra. It is literally going to determine a lot for you. It's almost like I'm hearing spirits say you're in, it's, you're going to be in this alone for some time, right? You're going to be in this alone for some time until you gain some more, until you gain more momentum and more stability in who you are as a person and who you are to discover. Because a lot is going to be revealed for you here, Libra, in the near future with the tower. Yes. All this chaos, all this darkness that currently surrounds you is getting weaker and weaker. Like even the darkness itself is realizing that you're now too strong for them. Like there's nothing that they can do anymore to try to lower you to a version of yourself that you were never meant to be, Libra. Spirit, tell me more in the near future for Libra. Yeah. See, your heart is so strong right now, right? You've literally have ran, have ran miles, you know, thousands of kilometers, thousands of miles to heal yourself. You are fully healed now, Libra. You hold all the power within you, right? It's just a matter of tapping into your true power, your true self. You hold all the power within you, Libra. You have the ability to harness this vortex of love and expand it to others as you wish. Spirit, tell me more. Yeah. We have the death and rebirth card. This is funny because I saw this coming out before it came out. Full on transformation here, Libra. You're going through a very um, big moment in time 
in your destiny right now. You are going to be presented with this test in the near future. It's going to determine again a lot of who you will be in your future. It's about making options here, choosing your options wisely. It's like you're being presented a series of different results of um, destinies that you have the birthright to choose from. And I do view you choosing here this Queen of Wands, right? Where your confidence and your passion, your optimistic personality is what's going to propel you to vibrant new heights of leadership, of charisma, of self-assurance in yourself, right? You have all the power within you. Again, like I said, it's just a matter of tapping into it. For those of you that have been practicing your magic, that have been practicing the power you have within, it's all real. You just have to believe. Some of you may be Pyros, 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 Pyros. You may have the ability to harness heat. Some of you are air manipulators as air signs, right? You may have the power to manipulate the wind to calm the winds outside. You're going to discover what this gift is for you, Libra, in the near future, right? Meditate on it. Ask your spirit that you're ready to reveal your gift, your power to you. This is going to help the healing that you've done so rigorously up to this point. What's the final outcome here for Libra Spirit? Final outcome here for Libra. Two of Wands. <sighs> yeah. It's going to be the first steps here to new planning, right? You're almost like at a crossroads, crossroads here because... You're going to narrow those options to two options, right? And it's it's going to really come down to making the right decision between these two options. One of them may require you taking risk, while the other may require you leaving comfort. It's kind of like your true nature, Libra, anyways, right? Trying to find the balance between... You know, what decision should I make, right? If it was up to you, you would give this decision up to someone else. But spirit, let's catch Libras a break here. What is the best interest for Libra? <laughs> They're being funny. You got the two of swords. They, they're asking you to have blind faith here, right? It's almost like they don't want you to necessarily make a conscious decision in this that's regarding your future. Because they know that you're stuck in the middle, right? Are you fearful of opinions being made about you? right? Because you're very much so a perfectionist, Libra, right? You're ambitious and you're a perfectionist. So to you, you know, any slight mistake could be very devastating to you, Libra. But spirit, tell me, tell us one clue, one clue. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. That's very in your queen energy, Libra.
seek guidance from your spirit team from mother earth right you will find the answers there is what spirit is saying here be down to earth right ground yourself in this earth like i mentioned earlier right this is very grounding you're going to find the answers within nature go outside enjoy the breeze absorb the vitamin c or vitamin d i'm sorry from the sun your body requires nutrients not just from the foods you eat but from the atmosphere itself from this earth and just know that doing a little meditation out in nature may reveal to you parts of yourself that have been dying, requesting to come out with the Six of Wands, right? They've been wanting to be revealed. They've been wanting to come out of you, Libra. Now is the time to tap into your gift. And those of you may already know what that is, but it requires you to surrender with the Queen of Cups, right? To follow your intuition, right? Fully believe 100%, 110%, right? Without any doubt, without any insecurity, without any fear. It is when you're in this position that everything starts to become and make sense for you. If this message resonated, Libra, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, knock out that notification bell. Stay tuned. Hit, uh, yeah, stay tuned for new videos. Uh, I will be focusing on mental health and physical health in the next set of videos that I put out after the you versus them playlist is over. So stay tuned and I will also be posting extended readings. So if you would like to get access to those, please join and become a member to this channel. I will start posting extended readings uh, starting Monday, okay? So keep an eye out for those. I'll recommend a few other videos here. Please check them out. Much love, stay pure, stay blessed.